tricky problem part 1 uh, profit loss contains several type of question uh, we are starting with this topic with some examples see uh, first example on selling a radio for rupees 760 the profit earned is equal to the loss when it is sold for rupees 540 see in this case when we sell an article at rupees 760 we get a profit and when we sell it for rupees 540 we get a loss it means let cp be x so 760 minus x gives us profit and x minus 540 gives us loss both are equal gives us 2x is equal 760 plus 540 then x would be 1300 upon 2650 answer is D one more example uh, on selling an article for 17% profit instead of 18% loss a shopkeeper gets 70 more see uh, this question is very important uh, let CPB X no 17% profit then selling price would be 1.17x and 18% loss selling price would be 0.82x and their difference is 70 1.17x minus 0.82x gives us rupees 70 we will get uh, 30, 0.35x barabar 70 now solving it we will get our answer but important part uh, it is given that 17% let cp is this uh, this is 17% profit and this is 18% loss now difference between these two is 18 plus 17 because both this is loss this is profit we will directly do like this 35% sum of cp that is x barabar 70 so x is 2000 uh, 2200 a option see one more example uh, this is very good question <clears throat> on selling 40 button for a rupee it result a loss of 10 percent then how many buttons per rupee should be sold to earn a profit of 20 percent this question is very important see the solution is carefully now loss of 10 percent loss multiplier would be 0 0.9 okay and profit of 20 percent profit multiplier would be 1.2 this is loss multiplier 0 0.9 and this is profit multiplier now initially we are selling 40 button and we get a loss of 10 percent now the my, my question is if we want to get a profit of 20 percent we should sell more button or less button we are getting loss by selling 40 button to get profit we should sell less button so we have to calculate number of button which is less than 40 see in this uh, option for a option is not possible because it is more than this and D is also not possible we have two remaining option that is B and C but see a very simple logic of this type of question is we want to decrease this 40 we have two values 0 0.9 and 1.2 we can either multiply this or divide this we want to decrease so with 0 0.9 0 0.9 if we multiply this by 0 0.9 the value will decrease and we will multiply or divide by 1.2 so that we have to decrease so if we divide it the value will decrease or if we multiply it by 1.2 it value will increase we have to decrease so we will divide it by 1.2 simplifying 30 buttons so to get a profit of 20 percent we should sell 30 buttons see one more example on selling 17 lemons for a rupee a fruit seller earns a profit of 20 percent now our quantity is 17 profit multiplier is 
1.2 if he is subjected to a loss of 15 percent so loss multiplier is 0 0.85 he want to earn a loss so he have to increase the number of but lemons so how to increase we have two values 1.2 and 0 0.85 first consider this okay we want to increase 17 we should multiply it by 1.2 or divide our answer is we will multiply it so write 1.2 and we have to increase value of 17 so we'll multiply it by 0.85 or divide it by our answer is by dividing it see uh, if we divide uh, any number if we multiply it by 85 and if we divide by 0.85 in this case the value of 17 will decrease but in this case 17 to 0.85 the value will increase sorry decrease we want to increase so if we divide it by 0.85 the value will increase so our main aim is to increase the value in this case we have to decrease the value now 24 so to get a profit or to get a loss of 15 by we should sell 24 lemons for a rupee next question on selling an article for rupee the numerical value of the percent profit equal to the cost price what is the price of that article see there are several method for solving these type of question first of all formula formula for cp is equal minus 50 plus 10 into under root 25 plus sp see in this case selling price is 119 so putting this value plus 10 25 plus 119 it is plus 10 into under root 169 minus 50 plus 130 sorry this is 144 so answer is 70 CP would be 70 our answer is D okay uh, one more logic see uh, in this case it is given that the numerical value of the percentage profit is equal to the cost price so no need to start with this formula we can directly start with the option see this is 60 CP 60 profit percentage 60 so its value would be 16 to 1.6 that is 96 not equal to 119 65 is very odd number 70 we will start with 70 see we can start with 35 also but in this case we have to multiply it by 1.35 for 65 we will have to start with 1.65 so initially we started with 60 then we go with 70 because 70 is easy number 1.7 it is 119 which gives us this CSP. so our answer is D okay you can use formula or you can use option based see a uh, question on loss on selling an article for rupees 24 the numerical value of the percentage loss is equal to the cost price same question but in previous question we have a profit in this case we have law profit we have loss in case of percentage loss there are always two CP, CP now see in this case the formula is CP is given by 50 plus minus 10 under root 25 minus SP now listen the value CP is 50 plus minus 10 25 minus 24 10 into 1 taking positive sign we get 60 taking negative sign we get 40 so our answer is D now uh, again we can do by option uh, 40 taking with 40 40 and 40% 40 discount means 40% loss means 0.6 answer is 24 it gives us correct answer taking 60 16 to 0.4 again 24 so from B and C we getting same answer so our correct answer is D